Well, good evening, and welcome to our fourth annual Whittlesea Baptist Church Music Evening. Uh, this one is a little different. Uh, the last last few we've conducted in person. Um, global pandemics aside, we're we're, we're really in, uh, loving the fact that we can we can still join you online. And whether you've uh, attended before or if this is the first time you've you watched, uh, then uh, you're very very welcome. And we hope we're going to have a fantastic evening. Um, I can assure you that everything we've done this evening is COVID secure. Um, and Carrie, you, you and I are sat a suitable distance apart. Two metres apart. Two mm-hmm. metres apart, which is excellent. Um, so, so yeah, so we're, you know, we're, we're ticking that box, which is great. And it's so good that we can carry on uh, and, uh, and do this evening together. Uh, my name's Johnny. I'm a member of the church here in Whittlesea. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be one of your hosts for the evening. Uh, my name's Carrie, and I'm going to be the other host for this evening, and we're going to enjoy a really wide range of different types of music this evening. There's going to be lots of different ages, from people who are really young, only been playing for a, a couple of years, all the way through to people who have been playing for all of their lives. And we're really looking forward to hearing them. The different types of music will be there. We'll have some emotional pieces. We'll have some <coughs> slightly different pieces, a bit more amusing, and we're looking forward to seeing them all this evening. Excellent. Um, now... Uh, the majority of our performers this evening, uh, the, the thing that motivates them uh, is their love for God and their desire to use the gifts that God has given them um, to serve him and to please him. And uh, we're going to hear from some of them. Um, uh, they're going to share a little bit about what God has done in their lives uh, or, or perhaps about why they're performing uh, the piece they're performing. So we'll hear that later. Uh, we've also got somebody uh, who's uh, quite new to the church um, and uh, she became a Christian just earlier this year and she's going to share with us a little bit more about that and we're really excited uh, to be able to, to play that out for you. Uh, now, normally we would be uh, in the church, uh, which is about 200 metres that way, and we would have lots of nice refreshments uh, for, for everyone to enjoy uh, as they, they sat and enjoyed the music. We, we, we can't provide those, I'm afraid. Um, we tried to get around to everyone, but it just <laughs> didn't happen. Um, so hopefully you've, you've you know, got your mug of Bovril um, ready, perhaps a jammy dodger or two. Um, Carrie, we have some refreshments. We do. We've got some nice uh, French fancies. Jamie, you'll be jealous of those. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and, and some crisps, so we'll be, we'll be tucking into those, hopefully keeping it uh, professional. So make sure, you know, you've probably got a couple of minutes before the first uh, item goes out, so go and, go and get that kettle on now, uh, if you've not already. Um, now, one of the great benefits of doing it live is obviously that we get feedback, so, um, you know, we get a big round of applause, and, and we can actually hear you laugh at, at our jokes. Um, so we're just going to have to assume that you're laughing the whole time uh, this <laughs> evening. Um, but what we really want to do is be able to still have some engagement um, with you, our audience. Um, and so we want you to, uh, to be able to message in to us. Uh, there's two ways that you can do that. Um, so either via our Facebook page. So if you go onto our, the Whittlesea Baptist Church Facebook page, uh, you can leave comments. Uh, and uh, the other way is via the church WhatsApp group. If you're part of the church, you should be part of that. So if you, if you want to stick some comments on there. Uh, it would be lovely to hear from you. Um, maybe you want to comment... Uh, on something that you've seen, on a performance. Uh, maybe you, you just want to give a shout out. Um, we, you know, we could go all Joe Wicks and um, <laughs> start giving shout outs to, to people who are watching all around Whittlesea. <laughs> and uh, we might even get one from East Street. Or Stangground. Stand go ground. crazy. Wow. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get a comment. Um, don't lie. Because um, we've got no way of verifying it. Um, so please do message in. You know, I don't know if you want some help with your homework as well. Perhaps we can, we can do... No, don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> um, yes, so excellent. Please do get messaging in and we'll read out as many as we can. So, without further ado, let's get started with our first act. Our first act, and we always have this group starting our music evening, is a group of ladies. They're all ladies from our church, and they have all got beautiful voices. And they've decided this year that they want to blend them together so that they can sing to us. And they're going to be singing a song called God Is So Good by a lady called Pat Barrett.
Thank you, ladies. That was such a lovely performance and God really is good. We have seen that over the last uh, few months, haven't we? Lovely to see them all singing and lovely to see them all doing it in a real lockdown way, individually in their different rooms. So we've had some hellos come through, haven't we? We have. We've had lots of great feedback already about that. Uh, one from Colchester. Hello to the Housens there watching. Yes. I had one from Southport in Lancashire to the Clarks. Good evening, Clarks. Um, we've had lots from Whittlesea. Um, we've, we've got some cats watching. Um, Anna is, uh, and her cats are watching, which is excellent. Um, and, and lots of comments about that last video. Um, we've, you know, vo beautiful voices, um, beautiful start ladies, great job. So that's a good way to kick off the evening, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Good. Right. Let's move on to our next act. And uh, I, I don't know if you're aware, Carrie, but we've got James Bond. Oh. We've got, well, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not strictly true. Um, we don't have James Bond, but we have the next best thing. Uh, we have Mark Proctor, uh, and Mark Pro Proctor will be playing a song from James Bond. Lovely. Which is very exciting. Um, I mean, when you see him, he, he, could, he could perhaps play Bond. Um, maybe a German James Bond. You'll see why in a second if you don't know Mark. Um, but uh, yeah, we're very excited. Mark is playing on the guitar, and he's uh, going to give us a guitar solo uh, of Live and Let Die by Paul McCartney. I mean, I'm a big James Bond fan, uh, and I know Mark is very talented on the guitar. It's not bad, but, is he? Uh, the only thing I think they could have made it better is if he, if we had like one of those Bond montages, mm -hmm. and he was sort of you know jumping. Or he'd around wore the tux. That would have been nice. Maybe mm -hmm. his wife Lucy, your sister, perhaps kind of <laughs> in a swimming pool, you know, jumping at that sort White of thing. White bikini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. No, yeah, maybe not. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, how do we have any comments, Carrie? <laughs> we've had lots of comments. Yeah. None we're quite like that. We're going to have in a minute, I think. <laughs> yeah, we've had some hellos from Boca Way, so it's nice to see you there. Uh, I hear that you're listening to us. And uh, some comments on the la ladies singing as well and how lovely it was and how much they enjoyed that. Definitely. We've had uh, a comment from Eleanor uh, Hemming from the Hemming family watching in Devon, which is fantastic. Um, we've had a greetings from uh, the Jameses in Peterborough who love the Bond tribute, which is great. Um, and uh, from uh, the Chells over there in Ramsey. Uh, so, oh, and Sarah Edwards from Warboys as well. This is great. Keep them coming in. You know, we've, we've got to Devon so far. So. It's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. Let's see if we can go any further. So next up, then, we have two of our younger performers. We've got uh, James Busby and Lola Proctor, who are both eight years old. Now, Lola has only been playing for about a year, and James has been playing for about three years. And they're both going to be performing two piano pieces. Let me just check what they're called. So Lola will be up first, and she's going to play Copycat. And then James is going to play second, and he's going to play... Well, I'll leave it to you, see if you can hear what it is. Oh. I just, I loved it. Oh, it was so cute and it's just amazing. gorgeous. You guys are so talented. Uh, I particularly loved, I loved uh, James's like massive cheesy grin at the end. Mm -hmm. there. Uh, and Lola's, one. yeah, at the end. Like, Did you guess the song? Could you guess uh, the song? I definitely felt the love tonight. You definitely. I did, I did. <laughs> Very well good. done, guys. Really good. Really Excellent. Good. Um, we've had a few more people Ooh. message in. Uh, we have had greetings from um, Rachel Fletcher. Uh, in uh, Berry and Ramsey, it's lovely to have you. And, and oh, lots of people in Ramsey. This is good. I like it. Centre of the world, obviously. Yes. Um, the the Hardings, Nikki and Isabella. Lovely to have you with us too. Um, we've had a, a comment from Jonathan Chell. I think this is regarding um, Mark's performance. Um, better than the Slash. So you know that's high praise. He's a guitarist. Okay, so, good. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. That's all the yeah. this <laughs> Which is great. So yes, keep the messages coming in. Really good. And we've had a comment about uh, Lola's piece as well and how lovely it was to hear her celebrating her successful piece with her. Yeah! Yes. Well done, Lola. That was lovely. Um, and also a comment on how like Rob James looks in his performance. Yeah, he 
He does. Okay. He dressed up well. He, he did, he, he did. Good. He scrubs up good. Okay, next up, we have a, uh, a testimony. Now, a testimony is a story about how a person has learned a bit about God or has learned a bit about Jesus. And these are going to be done by different people during the evening this evening. So it'll just be a couple of minutes. And this one's going to be by Mark. Now, we saw Mark a minute ago playing his guitar. And he's going to tell us a little bit of something about him and God now. Hello, I'm Mark. For the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to tell you about what Jesus means to me. The truth is, until I was 18, I'd never read the Bible. I don't even think I'd even picked a Bible up. But at the same time, I held strong opinions that the Bible was irrelevant and not true, even though I didn't know because I'd never read it. But there was a girl at school and she strongly believed that the Bible was true. She read it every day. She prayed to God. She went to church. She even ran the Christian Union at school. Well, I thought that by reading the Bible, I could prove to her that it wasn't true. That it was full of inaccuracies, full of stories that were just made up. So I went home and started to read it. The problem was is that as soon as I read the Bible, I came to the conclusion that actually most of the stuff I knew wasn't true, or most of the stuff I thought I knew wasn't true. At that point, I knew I needed to, to know more. I knew I needed to find out more about who Jesus was, what the Bible actually taught. And at that point, I started going to church. And there, a family offered to do Bible studies with me. Through a number of weeks, we started to study the Bible and I found out what it actually taught, what it actually meant. Now, if the Bible's true, what that means is that Jesus is God's son and he came to be a saviour to those who had not met God's standard. But if the Bible's true, it also means that I didn't meet God's standard. I am a sinner, which means that I too needed a saviour. And that saviour is Jesus. And one Friday in August 1998, I prayed that God would forgive me for all the wrong that I've done in my life. And at that time, what happened is that my sins were then paid for by Jesus upon the cross. I was completely forgiven for all the wrong that I had done. So don't be like me, making assumptions about what the Bible meant. Have a look for yourself, read it for yourself, and realise that this is the most powerful book that you could ever get your hands on. Brilliant. Well, thank you, Mark, for sharing what God's done in your life. And we're going to hear uh, from a few others uh, throughout the course of the evening. Um, let's get a little bit more uh, feedback from our, uh, our listeners. Um, we've had a message uh, from Cassia uh, saying, well done to James. Excellent. We love that. Uh, where else have we we've got? Oh, I miss it. oh, we've got a hi from the Jakes family. Uh, in uh, watching and enjoying it very much, which is fantastic. Uh, and I had an, oh, we've got a hello from London to Suzanne. It's really good to have you with us uh, also. Uh, so we're, we're spreading out. We're getting, we're getting around the UK. Getting around the East Anglia area, at least. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 that's it. Come on, people. We, you know, we want someone from abroad. Joe Weeks gets them from everywhere. He does. I don't, I'm not sure Dubai is going to be the way forward. Do not think no, so. I don't think so, no. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, we're going to move on to our next act. Uh, and when you see him, you'll think that he should probably be lead guitar in uh, Arctic Monkeys or, or a band like that. Um, in fact, he composes uh, classical music in his spare time and does it really well. Uh, and he plays the violin really well, as you're about to see. Um, and his name is Caleb. K Caleb? No, it's not. It's Caleb Kostjeka. His dad's sat just over there, so I'm pretty sure he, he knows his real name. Um, <laughs> Now, most years at uh, the music evening, um, I get a note from Caleb phonetically um, s sort of spelling out the name of the composer. Because he Helpful. knows that, mm -hmm. you know, classical music is not my strong point. Yep. Uh, he hasn't done it this time. So I'm going to have to have a run at this. It should uh, be quite straightforward, this one. <laughs> it's not the Spice Girls, is it? <laughs> um, it's a violin solo, vocalese. Yes, I'm going to thumbs up. Good. Vocalese by Sergei Rachmaninov. Oh, excellent. Skills. Enjoy. Well done.
That was beautiful, Caleb. Thank you so much for playing that. What a talent in somebody who's only 14 years old and apparently has just aced his grade seven <coughs> in the violin. Sounded beautiful. Well done, Caleb. Thank you for that. So we've had some more shout outs. So um, Auntie Emily wants to tell James what a good job he did at playing his piano piece. In fact, the whole of Rob's family want us to say hello to them in Northern Ireland. So it's lovely to have you all watching us and joining us uh, this evening for our evening of music. I think it was Auntie Laura. That one. Oh, Emily's the daughter. Yeah. Emily <laughs> said, good cousin. That's right. Yeah, it was we Auntie Laura. To her to text in good, that, good. Yes, sorry about that. That's right. Excellent. No good. Um, and uh, Annette. Uh, has uh, messaged in, said my first music evening, very much enjoying it, especially little James, very dapper, which he was. Um, this one uh, is a bit of a personal one. Uh, this is from Miss Whitehand, who is uh, my son Josh's um, reception teacher. Uh, enjoying the show, a shout out and joke for Josh. How many teachers does it take to cut up mashed potato? That's I don't know. That's, what, How many people does what, it take? Exactly. Jo I think Josh makes that joke quite regularly. Ah. Miss Whitehand. <laughs> okay. Oh, she goes on and says, "What? Well, your kids are amazing. The best kids ever. <laughs> you must be the world's greatest dad. Mm, does she? I, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Let's move on, because we have two um, just really adorable acts now that will make your heart melt. Um, oh, we seem to have lost a video feed. Oh, we're back. Are we back? Excellent. We're back in, we're back in business. <laughs> what, that's the first technical issue. Hey, Jamie, that's a blooper just for you. Oh, yeah. We can blame Paul as well. That, was, that wasn't us, Carrie. No, good. Uh, good. Uh, right, so we're going to have two acts now which will melt your heart. They're sort of our youngest performers. Uh, we have Eliza, uh, who I believe Carrie knows uh, quite well. Uh, you, Met her. You are her cleaner uh, and her <laughs> cook, cook yeah. as well. Fashion um, stylist. Fashion mm -hmm. stylist. Musical inspiration? Uh, probably not. Probably not. No, no. I'd okay. suggest that one. Uh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and then Vanessa, uh, who is the third cost checker, who we have seen this evening. We will see more. Uh, and uh, she is going to be um, performing something which is very, very cute. Uh, indeed. Um, she's going to help us to get Christmassy. I feel it's, you know... It's, it's lockdown. We're allowed to be Christmassy. Exactly. That's Anything it. goes. Good stuff. If you've got your Christmas decorations up, let us know. Put a picture on the, on the Facebook page. Good stuff. Right, here we go. Lizzy uh, and Vanessa, enjoy this. Oh, how much did you enjoy that? I loved it. Oh. Vanessa's little thumbs up oh, was, it was gorgeous. I'll tell you what, that was definitely two thumbs up. It was um, excellent work, so girls. Good. And Lizy, given the fact that your mum and dad don't maybe have the musical <laughs> talent uh, to, to warrant what you've just done, that's so good. It is Fantastic. good work, girl. Keep well going. Done. There you go. You'll be you, practising every night, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yes, definitely. Good. 
So we've had some comments coming in about some of the previous performances. We've had uh, Steve wrote in to say what a good job Caleb had done. And apparently he used to play the violin and certainly never managed to make it sound that good, <laughs> apparently. So well done, Caleb, mm -hmm. from Steve. <laughs> Good. We've had a message in from um, uh, Chris and Alan, uh, who say great performance so far. Um, and uh, P.S. Jackson, who is a dog, um, has been singing along to Mark's guitar playing. Lovely. Which is I bet that was a delight. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to need videos of that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sounds good. OK, next up then, we have something a little bit different, shall we say. Uh, the man who's going to be performing is called Steve Philpot. He's one of our elders at the church here, and he's managed to persuade his son to participate in his filming, shall we say, which I think was very impressive, James, so well done to you. So James and Steve are going to be performing The Man in the Bowler Hat. Enjoy. A dig in this hole, hole in the ground So big and sort of round it was And there was I digging it deep It was flat at the bottom and the sides were steep When along comes this bloke in a bowler Which he lifted and scratched his head Well, he looked down the hole Poor troubled soul and he said Do you mind if I make a suggestion? Don't dig there, dig it elsewhere you're digging it around and it ought to be square The shape of it's wrong, it's much too long And you can't put a hole where a hole don't belong I ask you, what a liberty, eh? Then he bashed him right in the bowler Well, there was I, stood in me hole Shoveling earth for all that I was worth I was And there was him Standing up there so grand and official with his nose in the air So I gave him a look sort of sideways and I leaned on my shovel and sighed Well I did me a fag and having took a drag I replied I just couldn't bear to dig it elsewhere I'm digging it round cos I don't want it square And if you disagree it doesn't bother me That's the place where the old's gonna be Well there we were discussing this old hole in the ground So big and sort of round it was, it's not there now the ground's all flat and beneath it is the bloke in the bowler hat and that's that <laughs> wow i love that <laughs> that was brilliant i mean it's not every day that one of the leaders of the church um talks about having a cheeky fag no. <laughs> uh, so steve um, we'll perhaps have a little chat about that at another point. But... And if Steve could persuade my children to do some things, that would be great, because oh, yeah. he must be very talented at persuasion. That is good, James. You very are such good. a good actor. Mm -hmm. That was so good. We loved it. We well did done. love it. Excellent. Um, now, we've had some comments come in. We had one from Jonathan, who says, apparently that Johnny and I are like the Phil and Holly of uh, Whittlesea Baptist Church, which I think makes Johnny Phillips Gofield. How lovely. Thank you. I mean, I was trying to no channel silver more my, fox. my Dan Walker. That's ah, okay. where I was going. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'll take, I'll take Phil Schofield. Yeah, okay. 20 years younger. <laughs> Good. Um, we've had a message from uh, Mary Jakes to say, well done, Vanessa. Hannah loved watching you, which is great. Uh, and uh, one from Deb, who says, well done, Eliza. Uh, I'm one very proud auntie. So well done. That's great stuff. And they were loving the smile at the end. Oh, very special. Yes. OK. OK, next up then, we have um, Jessica, Jessica King. Uh, and she's going to tell us a story about her relationship with Jesus, which I think is probably comes from during lockdown. And then she's going to perform to us. Now, Jess has been playing a variety of instruments over many, many years. Uh, in fact, I think there are quite a lot of people in Whittlesea who could say that she was their first teacher of music. So it's lovely to see her taking centre stage and playing the piano and singing to us. She's going to do her testimony and and then she's going to sing us a song called Belovedness. Good evening. Tonight I've been given the privilege, because of the choice of my song, to talk to you about God's love, which is available for everyone, 
and anyone who wants to put their trust in God for it through putting their trust in Jesus. In the New Testament, it says, the life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Our whole faith is based on a savior who loves us so much that he gave himself for us. The song I'm gonna sing is called Belovedness. And that word beloved, it means a much loved person. And in this context, much loved by God. But there are days in my life where I waver and I find it hard to take hold of that love, which he wants me to know every day of my life. And on days like that, this song helps. It helps turn my mind away from my own feelings and my own fallible thoughts and towards God's sure and perfect promises. It turns my mind towards what he says. And he says, I am beloved, a much loved person. I hope it does the same for you.
That was beautiful, Jess. Thank you so much for doing that and demonstrating to us all your different skills there with the clarinet, the clarinet and the piano and the main singing and also the uh, supporting singing. Certainly couldn't have done that if we were live in the hall this evening. So thank you, Jess. That was beautiful. Anita has messaged in to say how lovely it was and how lovely to hear Jess's testimony and that um, it made her cry. <laughs> so that's nice to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we love it when people cry. We do. You've definitely successful if someone's yes. had a good cry. For the right reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. So, uh, we've had some more comments in. This is fantastic. Keep them coming in. Um, from uh, Maggie Cook in Whittlesea. Lovely to have you with us, Maggie. Hope you, uh, you and Andy and Megan are enjoying the show this evening. Uh, we've had a comment from the Youngs uh, in Derby. Uh, who say good work by all? Both presenters are doing a great job. They do. They. I promise you, they say that. You okay, say thanks. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Thank you. Excellent. Um, any messages from? The I have. There's yeah. lots of messages about Steve and James's performance and how much they were enjoying them. Freddie, Eliza, and Eva apparently thought it was very amusing. So well done, guys. Thank you for that one. Love it. Oh, and another one just come in uh, from Cassia to say, uh, wonderful Jess, which is great. She's a talented lady, isn't she? she? Is. Excellent. We will hear more from Jess a little bit later on. Actually. We will. Now, uh, we have another member of the Kosciecka family uh, performing for us. You might get, start get to get, get the impression that they're quite talented. Um, this one is slightly older uh, than those we've had before, <laughs> but no less talented. Um, Anita, if you're watching, don't kill me. Um, she is going to be playing a really beautiful hymn. Uh, it's one of my favourite hymns, uh, and she's playing it on the harp. Um, this is just about one of the most peaceful, restful um, uh, pieces of music that I, I have heard. So um, sit back and just enjoy.
Oh, Anita, that was beautiful. And the way you move your hands just looks so elegant. Apparently, that helps the sound to sound so beautiful. I'm reliably informed that's not mm -hmm. something that I knew. Now, we've had some messages come in. We've had a message uh, in from the barbers to say they are so unmusical, but they are loving listening to the music. And hello to Ned and Lois, who are both watching and enjoying seeing their friends performing. And apparently, Whittlesea has been awash with tears, Jessica. This is thanks to your song. Um, Maggie Cook has messaged in to say that it made her feel very emotional. And I think you might find it even made Jamie shed a tear. Not that that's hard. That's, that's, not, that's not surprising. No, it's not but, surprising. But no less lovely. No, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've had some more messages on Facebook. Um, so uh, the Turners are uh, tuning in from Crew. Um, lovely to have you with us. Um, and they say lovely music, great presenting. Excellent, we like that. Um, Mick from Warboys, hello. Uh, greetings to you. Uh, and uh, Willow uh, over there in Norwich. Uh, oh, and Willow and Holly. Great to have oh, you together. with us. Together. Together. Oh, I know. They're, they're identical twins, so oh. we couldn't tell them apart, even if... No. Yeah, we're here. Yes. <laughs> and we've managed to get a message all the way from Canada, Johnny. Oh, yes. Woo so uh, we had a message from Amanda, that is uh, Anita's brother and sister-in-law who are watching this evening. It's lovely to have you with us all the way over there in Canada. Awesome. Can we beat Canada? I don't no. know how far away Canada is. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite far. <laughs> We're talking about Antarctica or, you know, Australia. It's a long to, flight, yeah. right? Yeah. It is, yeah. Okay, if you're mm -hmm. a penguin in Antarctica, then let us know. <laughs> Um, good stuff. Right, let's move on. Um, we are going to switch musical genres now, and we're going to jazz things up a little bit. Um, Carrie, do you like do you like jazz? Oh, I love it. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Well, particularly uh, on the saxophone, in fact. Oh, well, that, well it's, it's a good thing because James Philpot. You saw him earlier wearing a hat. Um, and, uh, and now he's going to be performing uh, on the saxophone. He's going to be performing After Darkness by H. Hammond. Watch this. Good stuff, James. That was Very fantastic. Good. And been I, playing for about a year, you know. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Not long at all, nice. is it? I, I've been reliably informed uh, that it's not too difficult to make a sound on the saxophone, but it is very difficult to make a good sound. Yes, I think um, that. Mm -hmm. that. That was a good sound, James. So, well done. Keep going. You'll be playing in, you know, New York in some nice jazz thing in years to come, I'm sure. Excellent. Right. Shall we have a few more comments? Yes, let's. Um, Anita, apparently, has it been inspiring the youth of Whittlesea? Olivia Busby would like to know if you can buy mini harps so that she can have some lessons learning how to play the harp. I want to see that next year, Johnny. Oh, yes. And that would be, be very excellent. cute. It would. Oh, very it would. cute to see that. Love it. Um, Jimmy Davidson, uh, brother of Holly and Willow, um, he, he is also measured in from Whittlesea. So, hi, Jimmy. Great to have you with us. Um, oh, yeah. You'll know a bit about this. We've had a message in from, uh, from Canada again. Another one. From Laurie. Beautiful job, Jess, Mark and Lola from your cousins uh, watching in London, Ontario, Canada. Excellent. I love this. We're international. We're going out live across the world. Brilliant. Now, next up, you are introducing 
Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's, it's me. You. Introducing well. Next up, we have a mystery act. We're going to call it the Keen Boys, and they are going to be performing to you. Now, they've put this act together. There's four of them okay. that have put this act together, and they're going to be performing. But they are, are going to be incognito. You will not know who they are. So what we want you to do is we want you to message in saying who you think is performing Ooh. in this Keen Boy group. Now, Johnny doesn't know. He Can does not know who it is. Guess? You're allowed to make some guesses. Ooh, yes, excellent. you are. Excellent. So message in about who you think is performing and enjoy this. First, I've seen that, uh, and I mean, wow! I thought it could just be Keen. That yeah. could be Keen just playing. And they were playing the instruments. I know they weren't in the video, but they were actually they were playing, actually playing the instruments. in the recording as well. Yes. I was a little concerned for the pianist who <laughs> may have uh, sustained whiplash at one point during that uh, performance. But, um, wow, guys, love it! Um, we've got lots of suggestions coming in, so we will collate some suggestions and then. Wait, there's going to be a big reveal, isn't there? There is. Later on, there will be a big reveal as to who the Keen Ooh. Boys actually are. OK, excellent. Well, keep your suggestions coming in. Some good suggestions, you know. Some right suggestions is there? coming in. Oh, yeah, oh, very oh, impressive. The, the lead singer is the hardest, I feel. No oh, yes. idea who that is. <laughs> no, no, I've never met him before. <laughs> uh, now, up next, we have a testimony by a young lady called Anna. Now, Anna has been 
in church with us for a couple of years, but actually has uh, decided that she wants to give her life to Jesus during this lockdown period. So she's going to talk to us now and give her her story. Okay. Hi, Anna. Hi. Hi. It's lovely that you could join us and talk to us a little bit about how you became a Christian. Um, Thank you for uh, indulging us sat here in the open air. You're not too cold? No, I'm fine. Excellent. And thus far, it's not raining. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And the birds are relatively quiet. Yeah, the birds are quiet, yeah. Good. Anyway, Anna, tell us about yourself. So um, my name's Anna Nuttall, and I have lived in Woodsea for four years, approximately. Um, my dad was in the RAF, so we used to move around, so I've lived in Wales. Um, and then we came up here when I was about six years, 12 years old. So tell me about where you grew up and what that was like. Uh, so um, we lived in Wales. Um, it was just my family. Um, we didn't really have any other relatives that lived around us. Um, my family are Christians, so I was brought up as in a Christian um, family. Um, but I um, experienced something that you shouldn't have to go through, a child shouldn't have to go through, or anyone shouldn't have to go through. So. It made me um, angry towards God Um, and I didn't really, I was going to church and youth group and all that, um, but there wasn't anything that was really keeping me there. I was angry and I just didn't, yeah. So what was it then that kind of triggered you to start thinking about Christianity again? Yeah, we um, came to Whittlesea and well, the first few years I was thinking, yeah, I must get back into a church. It'd be nice to meet the locals um, and just to get used to... Like, even meet, people in Wilson. Yeah, even people in <laughs> Wilson. But yeah, just to meet people as well, because we hadn't been in Wilson before. Um, so, yeah, so I've been thinking about it, but I sh- suffer with shyness, um, anxiety and that, and it would have just been me coming. Um, Chris, my husband, wasn't a Christian, so and he works as well, so he, I would be coming on my own. So that sort of put me off. Um, but my mum, um, she lives in France, and she came over for a week, um, and she spent the weekend with myself. Um, and I think... Her and my nan had sort of been plotting together to get me back into church because uh, the Saturday um, she came up to me and said, oh, shall we go to church tomorrow? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, but I knew which church I wanted to go to. I'd seen in the local film magazine um, Paul's article um, that he does every month, I believe it is. So um, the next day on the Sunday, Myself and my mum came through the doors, and everyone was so lovely and welcoming, and yeah, it, it was good. I enjoyed the service. Um, it did speak to me, um, but then I was um, pondering about the following week because my mum was going back to France. So I was like, how do I go back when I suffer from shyness? Even though everyone was welcoming. So next minute I was ringing Sharon up and she was like, yeah, I'd love to go. And so I was like, yes. Um, and Chris came along as well, which was so encouraging mm. to actually, for him to say, yeah, I'll come along. Um, so yeah, it, every week went by um, and I enjoyed coming and the service was really well. I loved worshipping with everyone. Um, but every time Paul spoke, it felt like God was speaking through him. So at that point, would you say you were a Christian or not? No, I because I believe if you're a Christian, then you are speaking. You you've got that relationship with Jesus. It isn't about religion. It is about relationship, mm. having that relationship. And I just didn't have that relationship. We then obviously got to the start of this year, and. Mm. Um, Lockdown happened, COVID happened, yes, yes. Uh, and and we could no longer meet together. So you weren't able to, yes. to kind of come along yeah. to church and, and be challenged each week. Yeah. What's lockdown been like for you then? Well, to me, it has been a blessing. Um, I know there's so much negativity that's been going on with COVID. Um, but for me, it's been so positive. I remember sitting there one day, just working from home, and that, 
I believe the Holy Spirit came and spoke to me because that was it. I was just an emotional wreck. I was in tears. I was worshipping God because I knew that he's been there all my life and I haven't been there for him. He's helped me through so much and I haven't been there for him. And I've just, literally, I've just gone away from him. I've done stuff that I didn't like doing. So I just prayed. I just prayed to God and asked for forgiveness and just said, look, I'm so sorry for the past years. I've just stepped away from it. And yeah, next minute I was messaging Miriam at church and saying, I just want to get baptized. I, it was an amazing feeling just to be able to break down and just say to him, look, I, I just want your forgiveness because I knew he'd been there for me mm -hmm. all that time. And I just, yeah. Last week, you were baptised, weren't you, here yes. in the church, the last service before lockdown. So yes. that was a real privilege yeah. to be at and a real blessing. Um, what would you say, Anna, to someone who's maybe feeling a bit like you did and you, you, you perhaps don't know, should I put my trust in Jesus? Mm, I definitely put your trust into Jesus. There is so much in the world um, that shows him, that shows his personality, his the creation of the earth and that, um, yeah, there's so many reasons to why the earth was created, but I just don't, I know that that is true. I know it, it's an amazing feeling. And once you have that feeling, put your trust in him, he will help you through life. Just put your trust in him, find someone local, like a local church, um, there's a lot of material out online, um, but you just have to be careful that it is true to the Bible. Um, but yeah, definitely go for it. Brilliant. Well, Anna, it's been wonderful just to spend these few minutes Thank just chatting you. through. Thank and um, if anybody um, wants to ever kind of get in touch, you can, be, you can do so through um, the church here in Whittlesea. Yes. So yeah, thanks definitely. very much. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Anna, for doing that. It was lovely. We know that you get really nervous and shy, so we've just made you broadcast to the whole of the area. But thank you so much for doing it and sharing what Jesus has done for you over this last six months. Now, we've been having a lot of messages come in that we need to do some shout outs. Oh, yes. So we've heard from Isabel Rogers, who wanted to say, well done, lovely piano to my friend Lizy. And we went, had one from Neil and Kelly saying, well done to all the performers. So it's lovely to see that you're watching Neil and Kelly. And then we've had one from Auntie Sarah, who says how much she's enjoyed James's performance and all the other performances from a proud auntie and nanny over there in Northern Ireland. Good stuff. Um, we've, got, we've got so many coming in. I've had to write some down just so we don't no. miss any, um, which is great. Um, Becky Crane says, literally just jump, jumped in for a second and got to see James on the sax. Well done. You were brilliant, James. And I've got to say, Phil and Holly better watch out because there is some serious competition on the block. Oh, if there only we go. got their salary. Oh, hey, oh, wouldn't I know. that be Let's nice? See, what are we getting paid for this? And nothing. It's not a lot, is it? Cake. Um, <laughs> cake. Cake. No, it's true. Um, Baxters have messaged in to say, uh, must be something to do with a surname beginning with B. No musical talent here, but really enjoying it all. That's not true. Ray is a great singer, and I won't hear anything said against him. Um, uh, oh, and we've got some guesses. We have had a lot of guesses. Some correct, yes, can I say? Some correct. Some amusing comments. Jonathan Gray has uh, messaged in to say he was a bit concerned that those hip moves were not legal <laughs> before the watershed. <laughs> yeah, we should have put a disclaimer. We should have done, yeah, yeah, definitely we should. Yes. Um, from the Norrises, a great show. We think it's Jamie singing, Freddie on the drums, all of the Norrises family are watching. Lovely to have you with us, Norrises. See you. Good stuff. Um, we had a message from Andrew Eldridge uh, who says, uh, that looks like something out of Doctor Who. Um, which <laughs> Slightly offensive. Yeah, well, no, actually, that's bang on. I, I quite agree. Um, so, yeah, please do keep your guesses um, coming in. Uh, we've had another shout-out from Southport, Barbara and Peter Day. Lovely to have you both uh, with us too. Apparently the Sayers feel that um, the, the guesses are not correct on the lead singer because this lead singer is not as tall as that. Mm. <laughs> we will well, see. we will see. We will reveal later. Yes, very <laughs> excited. 
Okay, next up then we have Miriam Philpott and Miriam's going to be singing to us now. Miriam had a, a big birthday a little while ago and decided that from that she wanted to do some singing lessons and that she's joined a choir and now she's going to sing to us a song called I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis. Oh, it was so beautiful, Miriam. Such a beautiful song uh, there from Les Mis. Uh, Maxine says that's a beautiful song and she loves it and you did a really good job of it, Miriam. Well done. We really enjoyed that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Annette, Annette has messaged in as well to say, wow, Miriam. And I think that just about sums it up. Such a small person with such a big voice. Absolutely. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. More feedback? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't have any I, more feedback? I don't, no, no, I haven't got any more messages. Oh, I did, I did have some feedback and it's just gone. Oh, there we are. Um, so Sharon, <laughs> uh, who is Anna's mother-in-law, um, messaged, messaged in saying, I'm so proud of my amazing daughter-in-law. I'm in bits now. Uh, and I think that's, that's absolutely sums it up. So she it's, did such a good job, didn't she? did such a good job. It's been lovely to get to know her and Chris and Sharon over the last uh, few years. Excellent. Right. Uh, now, we are going to have another cost checker. They keep coming. They just keep coming from somewhere. Um, and uh, this time it's Nathan, cost checker. Uh, and he's going to be performing one of my favourite songs. Um, so there's a bit of pressure there. because you, there you don't want to mess it up, do you? Oh, it's a bit of an emotional one for me, this it one. Is, yeah. It is very emotional. Um, and honestly, this is absolutely stunning. It is so good. Um, Nathan is someone I would, I would pay good money to go and see, um, and I think some of you have actually, because he has performed at the Ivy League. Recently. He has, we saw him on so, Facebook. Yes, so um, yeah, so please listen to this, it's so good, it's perfect uh, by Ed Sheeran, played by Nathan Koschecker. <laughs>
well, I'm, I'm pleased to say there are more tears. More tears have been had. Uh, Nathan, that was amazing. Didn't I say that everyone would enjoy that? Beautiful. Just wow. beautiful. So good. And Nathan is going to be performing again at the end, so we've got that to look forward to. A song he wrote himself then, I think. Yes. Look forward to that. Good, okay. So we've had some messages in about Miriam's performances and uh, Miriam, you've managed to make Jamie try, cry again. I think he's, um, he's going for a, a record this evening, so that's lovely. And Maxine and Nikki and Anita all said it was a beautiful song, Miriam. And he did a lovely job of singing it, so well done. Well lovely. Done. Excellent. Uh, we've got um, more greetings uh, from uh, Heather in Spain. Marbella, this is my aunt, so I know where she is. She's in Marbella in Spain, so we are extending our, our influence around the globe. Good Excellent. Stuff. We love it. Um, Kate Ross uh, from from, from Whittlesea, which um, <laughs> is not quite so far. Um, she, she it's still nice to hear from her. It is yeah. still lovely to hear from her, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Kate, brilliant to hear from you, and uh, we're glad that you've, uh, you've been enjoying the show this evening. Uh, we've had a message from uh, Harriet, or Miss Whitehand, as I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and uh, she's, uh, I can't find it now, but she also really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed Miriam's performance and how talented Miriam is. Okay, right, let's move on to our next performer. So our next performer is Elijah Philpott. This is Miriam's eldest son. That'll be four of the five Philpots that will have performed. Now, Elijah's going to play a piece on the piano. Now, he's been having some lessons, but I know he does a lot of his playing by ear, so which is amazingly talented, isn't it? So let's listen to Elijah. He's going to be playing a piece called New Day. Well, there's, there's three things I loved about that. Uh, one was how effortless Elijah uh, makes oh, just playing look. So laid back. Like you mm -hmm. say, just, you know, no music, just so casual. Um, that knowing smile at the end, like, yeah. <laughs> he knows he's that. good. I know I'm good. Uh, and thirdly, of course, the bow tie. I mean... How doesn't oh, love a bow tie? That's so smart. Loved it. Really good. Well done, Elijah. Thank you. So now we have, it is the moment that I know you've all been waiting for. It is time for the big reveal of who the Keen boys are. Now I should tell you, make sure that you know this, that uh, the boys playing the piano and the drums were really playing the piano and the drums and uh, they should have some credit because I know they learnt the pieces specially and the drummer made up the drum rhythm himself wow. to go with it. So they should have some credit for that, I think. And we're gonna reveal them. Uh, in just a second. We've got some guesses okay, first. We'll have some guesses, yes. So, some guesses. We've had a, a guess that Stanley was on vocals. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that would have been epic. It would have Stanley been. Stanley is 101. Yes, I think okay. so. Yeah. Stuff, maybe next year. Maybe, you never know. Mm -hmm. We've had some guesses that it was Freddie playing the drums. We will see. Uh, some guesses that Jamie was the lead singer. I'm not sure. I have I to don't find know. out. I didn't see any tears from the lead <laughs> singer in that. So. That's true. Mm -hmm. There was some dancing. There so was you some know, definite doubt I don't know. Too. Shall we find out? Let's okay. go to the big reveal Ooh. and find out. Talk about it somewhere only we know. This could be the end of everything. So why don't we go somewhere only we know? Somewhere only we know. That's our key as well. I mean, well, well done, guys. Uh, yeah. Very Super, good, isn't it? Super talented. Do you know, Doug's only been playing the bass for about three weeks. Has he I know, really? learnt it specially for, oh, to do that performance. Wow. I think he was feeling left out in his house. There you go. I mean, <laughs> what, how old's Doug now? 40, uh, 45. 45. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You can old still... dogs can learn new tricks. <laughs> 
Because he's your brother. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, next up. Next up. Well, we've had a few a few more international oh, messages. Oh, yes, we have. really exciting now. Um, in fact, we've got so many messages on the Facebook page, I'm struggling to find each one. But we have managed to reach Australia. Woo! Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, from Graham... Uh, good morning from Tasmania. Uh, Jeff's twin, Graham here, just getting ready for church, thinking of you all as we meet today, one in Christ. Lovely to hear an encouragement, encouraging testimony and wonderful singing, Miriam. So it's fantastic to have you all the way in. We are like yeah. Joe Wicks. We, we, so exciting. We are, we are a bit better. Less movement, less yes. sweat. Yes, well, that's coming up later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's good. Um, we had Peter and Ludi Luth. From Canada, uh, so another message from Canada, sending their greetings. So we're back over that side of the Atlantic. Uh, and we've had a message from uh, Latvia, um, from the first, to say that they're watching and they're enjoying it as well. So, I mean, we, we need like a map in the background. Very like, international. Dots. So good, excellent. Lovely to have you all with us. Okay, next up, is it me? It is you, yes. It is me, there we are, yes, it is me. Um, okay, so we've heard from Miriam uh, a couple of times. Um, already uh, and uh, now we're going to spend a little bit more time hearing from her about uh, what being a Christian means to her. So what difference does being a Christian make to my life? Well there are many ways to answer that question but I want to talk about hope. We all hope for many things and this year has been a good example of how easily hopes are dashed and we're disappointed and I really hope that some of the things that I have been able to do this year and that we all haven't been able to do, we will be able to do in the future. But as a Christian, how do I deal with that disappointment, uncertainty and change? In other words, where is my hope? My hope for the future, in this life and for eternity, is not based on circumstances, on government decisions, or on my own health, or my own efforts. My hope for the future is in God himself, the God of the Bible who is in control of all things, who is wise, all-knowing and good, and who does not change. God makes many amazing promises in the Bible. For instance, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And God made that promise to his people when they were in a bad situation. The Bible calls the hope that we can have through trusting in Jesus a living hope. Jesus died on the cross in my place and he rose again forever to be my saviour. He has promised me and all who trust in him eternal life, hope for a future that will continue forever with Jesus, where I will be as I should be and where everything will be just as it should be and there will be no disappointment. That's the hope that I have as a Christian. That's the difference that knowing Jesus makes in my life. Thanks, Miriam. It's lovely to hear from you on um, the things that you believe. Uh, we've had a few messages in about the great reveal. Doug would like you to know that he is, in fact, 23, which is slightly <laughs> worrying, seeing as he has a 16-year-old son, I believe. Yeah, he's not aged well. Then. But we believe you, Doug. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yep, yeah, next up okay. then. So next up then, we have uh, Paul Koschecker. He's here with us this evening. He's trying to pretend he's not, but he is. And he's going to be performing for us now. He's going to be playing If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. And he's going to be playing the piano and singing for us. Enjoy. People live for the fortune Some people live just for the fame Some people live for the power Yeah, some people live just to play the game Some people think that the visible things define what's within and I've been there before 
But that life's a boss of all Of the superficial Some people want it all But I don't want nothing at all If it ain't you, baby If I ain't got you, baby Some people want diamond rings But some just want everything But everything means nothing If I ain't got you search for a fountain The promises forever young Some people need three dozen roses And that's the only way to prove you love them Hand me the word on a silver platter and what good would it be with no one to share with no one who truly cares for me some people want it all and I don't want nothing at all want everything, but everything means nothing if I ain't got you. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, some just want everything, but everything if I ain't got you That was amazing. Thank you so much for that. And lovely to see those boys performing with their dad. It was, wasn't it? I like the way he called it the Paul Kostjeka performance, whereas actually yeah. it was a full Kostjeka you know who the performance, stars wasn't were. it? We do. Yeah. We do. I, have, I, I actually saw Alicia Keys um, in concert once. Did you? And, mm. you know, that, uh, it wasn't a patch on, on that. That was amazing, there, wasn't so, it? Yeah, absolutely. Paul even said his favourite bit was when Nathan played that bit on the guitar. <laughs> I think that's exactly how he phrased it. He Credit technically, you know, did that on the He even did that. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we've had a comment from Sarah who said, Go Paul, great song, great voice. Um, brilliant, which is true. Excellent. Um, shout out from uh, Matt Murdoch, um, colleague in, uh, of Jamie's in Cam's Fire. Oh, hold on. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, on. I think we've got a, a slightly different screen going oh, on here. No. We should give credit here to uh, my sisters-in-law who have created this <laughs> delightful picture for you, saying that we are like uh, Phil and Holly, I think that is, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Mm. I'm yeah. liking the way... I think, actually, I prefer looking like Holly, if you don't mind. <laughs> Can you put it back? Yeah, OK. I mean, I, I had quite a big head there. Maybe you I did. Big head. Well, Maybe. we didn't like um, to say. No, absolutely. <laughs> let, me, let me finish my shout-out. Um, so from Matt Murdoch, colleague uh, of Jamie's, I think, in Cam's Fire. Um, great fun, very entertaining. Thanks. Oh, well, that's to Jamie, that message. I won't read that. Not that there's anything bad about it. I'm just going to stop talking. 
Okay, let's move on to the next uh, section. Um, oh, now this is good. Do you fancy something a bit more Christmassy again? Oh, though? I'd love something a bit Christmassy. Oh, this is really Christmassy. And, you know, we're, we're at that point in November where you can start thinking about it, aren't we? Nobody's yet told us they've got their tree It's locked down. Up. We're allowed to think yeah, about it. That is true. Goes. That's true. We can do what we want. Mm -hmm. um, so, there's two performers, two performers who we have seen uh, before. Now, they're not socially distanced. But I think okay. we, can, we can let them mm -hmm. off because they are mother and son. Um, I so, love that. Yes, it's uh, Miriam and Elijah Philpot performing uh, Walking in the Air by Howard Blake. So close your eyes, think of snowmen uh, flying and... <laughs> Wow. I mean, I was there. I was, it was lovely, I was it? flying in the air. That was brilliant. Thank you so much. I don't know of any mother-son kind of duet combinations. No, so heartwarming. I love it. Yeah, I hope my son likes me that much when he's 14, 13. Oh, yeah. give, it, give it a few years. We'll we can play the drums together. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So um, we've had a couple of messages in, lots of messages saying well done to the cost checkers and how much they loved uh, that performance. But one from um, Jonathan Gray saying he's never heard a pastor sing the word baby before. So <laughs> <laughs> amused us, we thought it was very funny. Jonathan's had his funny pills tonight, he obviously. Yeah. Quiet. Um, us Maggie amused. has uh, messaged in, so wish we had something like this every week, cost checker family. Don't know, any pressure on you guys there to, <laughs> to do that. Um, they're so talented um, and you need to set up your own band. Which I, I mean, I think the, the I think they have. young people have. Mm, so. I think we may see that later yeah, on, in fact. Maggie, there you go. You, you can enjoy it. So next up then, we have another cost checker. Now this one's Matthew. Now Matthew's been sat in the background of a lot of the performances. I think that is the life of a drummer to support everybody else, but not in this one. This time he's going to be playing the marimba. Now the marimba, for those of us that are less musical, is basically the xylophone that we all had <laughs> in the cupboard in our primary schools. You know, the big wooden ones that we're allowed to hit. Now I'm reliably informed that musically that is not correct. That it is not actually a xylophone. 
It's much fancier, and believe me, the noise Matthew makes from it is significantly better than you get from any primary school classroom. So he's going to be playing a song called Frogs. Enjoy. <laughs> Well, I think there are people all around Whittlesea and the different places that are watching all just sat there like this. That was absolutely amazing. We've had so many comments come in. How is it possible to use four sticks like that? <laughs> I can hardly use one, let alone four. In fact, Ray has written in to say exactly that. I can't even use one in the right place, let alone four <laughs> at the same time. And Jamie has said, well done, Matthew. How is that even possible? Unbelievable. Amazing. It sounds that beautiful. Do you know those sticks, they don't say at the same width. He moves them backwards awesome. and forwards whilst he's playing them. No. Amazing, just fantastic. fantastic. Well, well done. done. Uh, a comment um, on a, uh, the performance of uh, Miriam and uh, Elijah uh, from Deb. Uh, the snowman takes me back to being a child and reminds me of how magical Christmas is. Played beautifully. Uh, if you ever need someone to sing this, I'm always on hand. <laughs> Though I wouldn't want to ruin it. And I'm she's not joking. She I'm would sorry. like to be there. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we've had a comment uh, from uh, the Jameses in Peterborough saying, did Paul have that many kids to one day form the Koscheka Ensemble? And do they do weddings? <laughs> they fantastic gifts, guys. Amazing. Only if they pay well, I think. <laughs> okay. So, next up then. Next up. We, uh, 
It's huge. I'm sad to say we're approaching the end of our uh, time together. Yeah, You've got two acts. It's the penultimate yeah, one. It's the penultimate one. Um, but it is very... Oh, it, I am so excited by this. It's another of our amazingly talented family groups who are doing this. So we've got Jess, Danny, Sammy uh, and Josh all performing. They're singing and they're and playing. And Doug, you should know. Well, yes. Um, I, was, I was debating, does he just like provide refreshments? No, or? what Doug has done apparently is he got a bass... Uh, it's a computer program, and he just pressed the button. Oh, excellent! <laughs> Very talented. This is where the inspiration for the guitar came oh, okay. from. You see. So I mean, yeah. So it's the whole family. It is the whole family um, equally uh, performing uh, this wonderful song, Shepherd, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, this is the King family band. This is just beautiful. Enjoy it.
That was so lovely. So lovely to see you all playing together. And um, what a lovely song choice as well. Yeah. Uh, nice to hear them doing that with each other. It's an emotional yeah. one. I shall not talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some lovely comments come in about um, Matthew's performance. Uh, so uh, Beth has written in to say that Tom uh, has just sat there with his mouth open for the whole performance huh? and his actual quote was, like he's got four keys all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Ray, no, Doug would like to say that he thinks it's an optical illusion. Matthew can't possibly have done it. <laughs> Must just be magic. <laughs> um, Sarah Edwards has written in to say, Matthew, that is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Um, and uh, uh, Annette has said, the Kostjeka family, do it again. Matthew, such talent. How do you do that? It's a good question. I don't know how they do that. Right. It must be something in their genes, I it think. It must be. It's definitely Jessica's genes influencing that King band. Oh, yes, absolutely. Definitely. There's no King in there, I'm afraid. No, no. Okay, well, I'm very sad to say this is our final performance of the evening. Um, However, I'm not sad to say that because it is wonderful. This is kind of really ending on a high. Um, we're hearing from Nathan again, who, uh, who played Ed Sheeran a little bit earlier. Uh, and um, the thing about Nathan is he is obviously so incredibly talented, but he's also a really nice guy. You know, it'd be easier if he wasn't very nice. It would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to sort of make up for that. But no, he is such a lovely guy. He's what, six, 16 years old? 16. 16 mm -hmm. years old. Um, and, uh, and he is now going to perform um, for us Razor Fires. This is a song he's written uh, himself. Um, and just before we hear it, he's going to explain a little bit about why he wrote the song. Enjoy. Razor Fire is a reminder of the wonder of our God and the glory of our King. One of the lines in this song says, You spoke and there was light. You know, this is the God we worship and we should react through heartfelt praise and awe. I wrote this song because we're part of a symphony across the whole of this massive universe that God has made. That's trillions of stars, mountains, animals, all giving glory to God in their own ways. And we are at the forefront of his symphony. God wants every single one of us to be a part of it. There are times where we find it easy to praise God, but there are also many times where I think we find it quite difficult and the line, raise a fire, I guess is basically just saying, Lord, I'm not feeling it today, but make my heart sing to you. Our Father loves it when we sing to him, and equally, he gives us joy in our hearts. I feel the call to worship our creator is greater than we can imagine. No matter how much we praise him, he is always worthy of more. Every nation who defies you We're people screaming out It's time to sing and shout Come on brilliant stars light up the sky And galaxies shine glory in the night The mountains lift you high We want to praise you Oh glory to the King Your name be lifted high Who can stand before you God, we come to adore you You spoke and that was light Your words are thunder strike How awesome is your glory God raise a fire inside me The heaven shall fall Creation crying majesty, a blazing fire at night, your power burning bright. Come on, brilliant stars light up the sky, a galaxy shine glory in the night. The mountains lift you high, we want to praise you.
like a wildfire, praise his rise And I will be a flame proclaiming freedom in your name Our souls alight like a wildfire, praise his rise And I will be a flame proclaiming freedom Absolutely loved it. When I heard that for the first time uh, earlier this week, I, I just straight away put it on again to listen to it. Um, such encouragement. And uh, yeah, thank you, Nathan. Really lovely. Nice to see Matthew playing with him there. Oh, you I weren't seeing double. Oh, I thought it was a double. No, oh, okay. no, no twinnies, Matthew. They're identical twins. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, it's, it's sad because we are quite near the end we of are. our show. Um, we've got a, a couple of final comments that people have sent in. We have. Um, Trish has just sent in to say, what a lovely evening. She hasn't stopped smiling all night. So that's nice. And neither have we. It's been lovely. No, absolutely. Um, and Maxine we... says, well done, Nathan. You are really super talented. Oh. Um, Laura has messaged in to say, wow, everyone here is so talented. Love watching you all. Well, that's it. We hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a fantastic time. Hopefully you have, Carrie. I have. I've enjoyed it very much. Yes. So many talented people. Uh, and it's just so lovely to see um, and want to use the gifts they've been given uh, to perform. Um, if you're uh, interested, um, then each Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, um, we uh, have a, a, a service streamed um, via YouTube. I think the details are, are on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Um, we'd love you to join us. Um, you'll see some of the people uh, who have taken part uh, tonight. So please do come along. Uh, and then perhaps uh, something that you've heard tonight has um, spoken to you in some way or you want to know more about what the Christian life is all about. If you want to do that um, on YouTube, again, uh, there's a number of step-by-step -step, uh, through Mark's Gospels uh, sessions that our Pastor Paul has done, just talking about the life of Jesus and who Jesus is uh, and why he's so important. So That's also available as a podcast if you want to listen to it in the car, which is useful. Good stuff, yeah. So please do uh, get involved with those things. Um, keep sending messages on the Facebook page. We'll, uh, we'll be putting some comments on there after this. Um, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we hope you have a great time. Hopefully next year... We'll might even this. be in real life. Might be in real life. Ooh. Excellent. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. No.